What's the best thing your class clan did? This is pretty tame. Probably because it happened in the early 90s. We had a teacher, Mr. A, who was very strict, very serious, very high regard for himself, very Italian. This man rocked the thickest mustache I had ever seen. Nothing fancy, no handlebars or waxed works of art. Just a full, glorious stash that Burt Reynolds would envy. We had been working with fun fur thick bushy fur for an art project. Another kid and I jokingly made forks mustaches out of it and used double sided tape to wear them. The art teacher, who was young and new to the profession, kinda sorta dared us to wear them to Mr. A's class. We went one step further, we made mustaches for everyone. Mr. A typically strode into the classroom with disregard for all of us until he had written whatever was important for that day on the board. Somehow a class full of Dumbus 9th graders managed to keep our heads down and not laugh. We waited. For that moment, when he turned to face us, it could not have been more perfect. The absolute stunned look on his face, followed by the loudest, not laugh, but straight out guffaw. He loved it, and insisted we keep them on for the whole class. I'm sure someone everyone has something funnier will the grosser whatever emergency room. But almost 20 years later, and that moment is still clear as day in my memory. Student versus Faculty basketball game. Everyone is in the gymnasium to watch the game. It's a pretty friendly game for the most part, but there was some decent competition. It was my senior year and our class clown was the announcer for this basketball game. One of the faculty members who was playing only had one arm. One armed faculty member Mr. X comes into the game off the bench and immediately hits a 3 point jump shot. During the inbound play, one armed faculty member steals the ball and proceeds to make another basket. Class clown who has been announcing the game lets out this gem and Mr. X is single handedly taking over this ball game. The game literally had to be stopped as people were laughing too hard. It caused a bit of an awkward exchange between the student and teacher, but was the best timing on a joke I've ever heard. We were doing a school wide team bonding exercise. Basically each class had to build a bridge out of newspaper and sell a tape in the school field. The event happened. Winners were declared, and we were asked to tidy up. They drove a sit-on lawnmower onto the field towing a trailer and we were asked to throw the excess paper into the back of it. At this point 400 children rushed the trailer and started throwing paper in it. Soon it was filled at least 2, 3 meters high. The groundskeeper starts to drive away, and the trailer disconnected. No big deal. He hooks it back up. Drives off and it disconnects again. Now this was one of those slotted over and put a pin through it couplings. They don't just fail. The grounds keeps was confused so a teacher came to help. It disconnected the moment he drove off. At this point everyone is laughing. Expecting it to fail. And it disconnects at least 5 times. Finally they couple it up. And a teacher walks with it watching to see how it failing. And bam out of nowhere this kid leaps from the pile of newspaper screaming like a banshee. He'd leapt into the trailer in the flurry of newspaper and children undetected, and had been disconnecting the trailer every time it drove off. We had a boombox in class for a while and our classroom faced a busy sidewalk. So the class clown did stand up gigs for pedestrians in the break between classes until the retirement home down the street complained about the noise. The class clown in my year was a rather large chap. One lunchtime he decided it would be a good idea to pull up his shirt unveiling his rather large belly covering it with butter, then running down the hallway as fast as he could to see how far he could slide. It wasn't very far, and he just ended up with loads of friction burns over his belly. It's still one of the funniest things I've ever seen. That's one way to try and lose weight. In our Algebra 2 class my junior year, my best friend walked into class 5 minutes late with a life sized cardboard cute out of himself. He pulls his chair out, stands the cute out between the chair and the desk, and walks right back out of the room. The teacher didn't say anything for about 45 seconds. Then she just marked him absent and pretended nothing had happened. At the end of the class he came back and got it. By the end of the next class the cute out had been confiscated. On a retreat in my junior year private school. 
the entire guys section of the dorms plan to make fap noises by hitting their palms against their thighs go ahead and try it. As soon as the chaperone, who was a brother, shuts the lights out, we duck and go at it, moaning and slapping and shit. It was crazy. After maybe 15 seconds he bursts into the room telling us to be respectful and not befoul our school's reputation. From the back of the room this ducker goes I was done anyway. Nobody could keep quiet. Tears were shed and sides cramped. It was a good night. One kid had his phone taken away for texting during class. The next day, the teacher took it away again. But he pulled out a second old cell phone a couple minutes later and began pressing buttons. Pretending to text, it was also confiscated. This happened several more times before he pulled a giant cordless phone with two feet antenna. The sort that came out in the late 80s and began pushing buttons on it. The teacher couldn't stop laughing. Had a guy bring in a pineapple for a snack. A whole pineapple. No knife or anything. Proceeded to eat it like an apple. Jumped out the window while the teacher wasn't looking. Then walked around the building and back in the door quietly mumbling sorry I'm late. Repeated that every 5 minutes while watching the teacher get more confused every time. We had beams exposed in our classroom ceilings. When I was in high school class clown brought in a snowball and placed on the beam over the teacher's desk. Hilarity ensued while the teacher and staff tried to figure out where the leak was. We had a very talented girl in our class that pretended to be blind for our sub. She never broke character the entire class with all of us watching in awe. God, I miss Kathy. At my high school, during homecoming week there are various competitions between the classes to show who is the most spirited. The winner gets awarded the spirit sword for the year. Usually they announce it, and the class president and few other people get their picture with it. Then it goes back in the case. My sophomore year, our class won it, and proceeded to rush the gymnasium floor and grab the sword. When the crowd dispersed the sword was nowhere to be found. The sword was still missing the next year, so they made a new one and started using that. Fast forward to our graduation ceremony two and a half years later. After receiving his diploma, the class clown pulled the missing spirit sword out from under his gown and handed it to the principal. My dad once put a large matchstick through the bristles of his class blackboard eraser. You can guess what happened next. In 6th grade, my teacher would after read parts of stories to us toward the end of the school day. This kid who sat in the back would make faces and mime things depending on what was being read. It was kind of a game to see if you could secretly look back and watch and see if the teacher wouldn't notice. I'm sure it irritated her most of the time. But there are times where I'm sure she had to try really hard not to laugh. I remember one day where the teacher said if we behaved, she'd let the kid come to the front of the class to do his thing while she read the story. Yeah, we were angels that day. Our school uses Epson projectors so one kid downloaded the Epson app and commandeered the projector in one class. Teacher thought the projector was broken. It wasn't. I knew this kid that would write long, romantic, and graphic love poems on notebook paper. He would then fold them up really really small and place them in my male teacher's pants pocket. The teacher was a larger fellow and his pant pockets would somehow always be slightly open. Later on in the class, the teacher would just happen to place his hands in his pockets and find the unknown piece of paper. He would unfold it and begin to read as he progressed through the romantic poem. The look on his face just became more and more intrigued confused. You could tell he had no clue what was going on. But for some reason he never questioned the notes and would just put them in his desk drawer. We would just sit in the back and laugh our asses off. Ducking priceless. My buddy senior year rubbed a power donut all under his nose. Then he proceeded to the classroom where the guest speaker was a policewoman. He got suspended for 3 days. What the heck did they suspend him for? Possession of a sugary substance. Shenanigans. Senior prank spray painted seniors in 30 foot letters on the huge hill at the front of the campus. Forgot the eye. Viva la senors 04. 
This happened in statistics class near the end of my junior year of high school. After all the seniors had graduated, there were only about 8 of us left in that class which makes this story even better. Statistics teacher had his head buried in a book that he was trying to teach us from. And our class clown thought it was boring as heck. He starts sneaking. Sneaking towards the window. Statistics teacher still has head buried in the book. While we all watch him wondering what he will do. He starts going towards the wall. And climbing up the stuff near the side of it. Then opens up the window and climbs out of the classroom. Statistics teacher didn't notice at all. One other classmate writes that was awesome down on a piece of paper that we all could see while all of us were trying to contain our laughter. Grade 2. The usual shit disturber really had to go to the bathroom. But the teacher wasn't letting him. Finally after much kerfuffle and class interrupting he is allowed to go. He leaves and comes running back a minute later screaming about how there's poopy underwear left in the bathroom. The teacher yells at him for making things up and being vulgar and he responds with no it's true I brought them here and flings them into the center of the room. Order was not regained in the class for the rest of the day. This guy in my marine biology class made a presentation on sperm whales. His first slide why did I choose the sperm whale? Because it combines two of my favorite things sperm and whales. The presentation consisted of how long the sperm whale's penis is and how much semen was in one ejaculation. When I was at high school, everyone bought their books and stuff to school in a hold all or sports bag. The handle straps which you use to carry them over your shoulder had little metal clips so that they could be detached. At lunch break everyone used to leave their bags in one corner of the schoolyard. I spent most of my lunch break discreetly unclipping one end and attaching them to other bags so that all of the bags were interconnected in a big tangled mess. When the bell rang and everyone went to grab their bags I stood back and watched the chaos. I've never laughed so hard. This guy had headphones on during class and was jamming out hardcore. The teacher noticed and went over to him and told him to empty his pockets for his phone. The guy pulled out the headphone cord and it wasn't connected to anyone. The kid was rocking out to nothing. The teacher's face was of confusing and awkwardness. My brother went to school wearing a Power Rangers costume underneath his regular clothing and when called on by a teacher, he'd stand up and yell it's morphin time and rip off his shirt. How am I supposed to live up to that? My story is actually the other way around. The start of senior year in my trig. Class we had the school class clown. Our teacher was a elderly man who was very quiet. Said class clown was a terror to him. At the end of the year we were all coming into class and sat down. Well the class clown was always late. Our teacher didn't say a word. He finally came in and went to go sit down. Once he sat down his whole desk just fell apart and collapsed. Our very quiet teacher was laughing so hard he fell onto the floor crying. The whole class was dying. The class clown got up and ran out of the room. Best teacher ever. All girls Catholic school and the dean of student life was a terrifying Stalin BTCH. Spirit week schedule is announced. And again she assigned a dress like a teacher day on Wednesday. Super annoying because we had to dress nice or like a man. Sure the first year is fun. But by the fifth or sixth time it's old. So our class clown decides that it is cat day and shows up in a full on cat suit. Hood with ears. Drawn on whiskers. The full nine yards. I was at my locker, about three down from our clown, when the dean finds her and asks what teacher she's dressed as. The girl, Molly, lifts up her hand and makes a clawing motion and goes, I'm you. Meow. Considering the dean was such a terror, I thought the girl was done for. But the lady just laughed and let her go. I thought the dean was going to implode in fury. I went to a catholic elm middle school. Our class clown decided to buy a ton of communion online those stale wafers and eat them like Lay's potato chips during our religious class which are taught by nuns. They were horrified and he got kicked out. My cousin told me a fantastic story about his class's class clown. So one day during lunch, my cousin and his friends were chilling in the park in the village when a bunch of pigeons showed up and began feeding. 
or whatever pigeons do. This guy decides that it'd be really funny if he lured one in with a bit of his sandwich. He tears off bits of bread and begins coaxing the bird. And just as it gets close enough, he pounces on it with his jacket, ensnaring it. Shortly thereafter they return to school. Pigeon in tow. They enter their next class. And it seemed the teacher was running a little late. So the guy decides to put the pigeon into his desk compartment. Very carefully. He releases the docile bird into his desk compartment without his classmates seeing and closes it. The teacher enters and begins to teach. But he just sits there, arms crossed, nothing on his table, staring at the teacher. The teacher notices, walks over to him, and the conversation goes a little something like, Where are your books? In my desk. Miss. Well. Get them out. Please. I can't. Miss. Sorry. Why not? Because if I open my desk, the pigeon will fly out. Excuse me. Stop playing games. Open your desk. I can't. Or else the pigeon will fly out. The teacher was not amused. And the conversation went back and forth like this until eventually. Open your desk now or else you can stand outside the principal's office for the rest of the class. Okay. But I warned you. The guy opens his desk. And after a short second. The pigeon springs to life and shoots out of the compartment. Begins frantically flying around the room. Crashing into students and shitting everywhere. See. I told you the pigeon would get out. Consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more of Reddit Universe.